Whether you knew from the start or had a subconscious feeling something was wrong, Escape from Tarkov doesn't actually make the best use of your monitor's refresh rate. There have been many fixes throughout the years to patch this, however, most of them have been patched out. So a massive shout out to Ghost Freak 66 and also his technicians for coming up with this fix today. If you guys want to check them out, the link for their channel is going to be featured down below. He is an amazing content creator and you guys should give him some love. For NVIDIA users, you're going to right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. Once the NVIDIA control panel is opened up, on the left hand side here, you're going to see one that says change resolution just under display. Go ahead and click that. Now you're going to have your monitor selection here and you're going to notice that I have three monitors, but my primary is the Acer Predator XB27 1HU. What you need to know about this monitor is it is a 1440p or a 2560 by 1440 and it's 144 hertz overclocked to 165. Doesn't matter what your resolution here is, yours is going to be exactly the same. It's still going to be one missing and I'll explain in a second. So we're going to go down here towards customize just below where you select your resolutions and then you're going to have the option to create custom resolution. You're going to have an option here between horizontal pixels and vertical lines. Then this is the part where you go over to your vertical here and you're going to drop this by one point of resolution. So mine was originally 1440 and it's now 1439. You're going to make sure your color depth is left on 32 and your scan type is progressive. Now, once again, I have 165 hertz refresh rate, but I'm going to go ahead and bump this to 144 and that I'll explain the reasons for doing that later on. So we're going to go ahead here and hit yes and then hit test. Now, if this is successful, your screen will go black for a couple seconds and then you'll get the option to say, do you want to accept this resolution? Yes. After you've done that, you can go and it's going to flash a few times and it's going to be a little bit sketchy and then that's it. You're going to hit OK. Now, what I want you to know about this resolution is you do not select this resolution as your primary monitor. You continue to use whatever is native towards your computer and that's all you need to know. You're going to hit after you've done this, hit apply. So once you've applied that, you're going to go here to manage 3D settings, which is just above change resolution. And we're going to head over to escape from Tarkov here. And I've done a lot of uh, tweaking on these settings and I have a separate video that goes in more depth into this one. But the only setting that you need to worry about is V-Sync. So you're going to go ahead here and it's going to have Escape from Tarkov and if it's not there, you're going to hit add and then you head, you're going to go ahead and look for it. If it's not in this list, make sure you hit browse and find the Escape from Tarkov.exe wherever yours may be installed. Mine is already done here, so we're just going to quickly jump into what you need to do. After you've got it selected and it's in the drop down menu, you're going to go down towards vertical sync here and you're going to have this one tick to use the 3D application setting and make sure that is the one selected. After you've done here, you're going to head apply and then you're good to go. So this next fix is for both users of AMD and Nvidia. You're going to go into the game and you're going to hit print screen and you're going to see the little directory in the bottom right corner here. For me, it says C users, Micro OneDrive and then documents escape from Tarkov. And this is where we need to be headed to. So if you're not sure, that's exactly where. But for me, this is in documents. So we're going to heading to documents right here and I'm going to go down to documents. Once you're in documents, you're going to find a folder called Escape from Tarkov. And there's going to be your screenshots and below that is a local.ini or configuration settings. Once you're inside here, this is your settings for Escape from Tarkov. So remember what you changed your height to. Let's say you had 1920 over here and 1080p. Once again, this is going to be whatever you set your height to. So 1079 or for me, 1439. And you're going to go ahead and leave that one there. And then the next one here is going to be refresh rate. It's going to be set to 23. You're going to go ahead and change this to the refresh rate of your monitor. So I would recommend even if you have a 165 hertz monitor, putting this on 144, because if you go above 144, it will reset. And then once you've done that, you're going to make sure that V-Sync is on one and then full screen is on zero. And then we're going to hit save. Now, once we've saved, we're going to start up the game and we'll get into it. All right, so you guys are going to be noticing I'm in the menus here and it says in the top left corner that I'm at 144 hertz. Now, for you streamers, if you're having any issues with this and you're noticing any sort of stuttering or any sort of movement on your screen is not being detected, make sure you just alt tab out of your game and then tab back in. So first thing you're going to do every single time is go into your setting. Once you're in your settings, you need to make sure 
that your screen resolution is now set to the new one that we have set. So for me, this is 2560 by 1439, which is what we changed in the dot INI. And the reason I recommend recommended doing it through the INI first is so that Tarkov, when it starts, is a little bit more stable. You're gonna go ahead and tick VSync and make sure that is ticked. And then we're gonna have full screen on. Now feel free to copy all my other settings, but I have a more another video going into this a little bit more in depth. So you're probably gonna notice straight away that I'm in RAID here and I have 165 frames. And this is pr pretty incredible, but this is an offline factory, one of the well most well-optimized maps in the game. But that is because I'm forcing VSync to run to the refresh rate of my monitor. And I've gone into my settings here and you know I have an Ace of Predator, right? Did 2560 by 1440p and then selected VSync full screen. So now it is actually refreshing to 165 instead of 144. But there is one major downside to this and that is most capture cards in a in any of the streaming world will not actually take anything above 144 hertz so you're going to get some stuttering on the stream side if you are doing any sort of content creation and the menus are going to feel much more jank unless you cap it at 144 and that's what i was saying earlier so unless you want to go into the menus each time and then reset your settings so if you go into the menus hit graphics and then go back to your new custom resolution and then hit save so that the menus feel a little bit better and then in game go back to your standard resolution if you're pushing a higher hertz. This is one way of getting around it, but I wouldn't recommend constantly doing this because it would just simply just get annoying. So you're gonna be having a look here as to why I don't actually go through and have 165 hertz in the menus especially if you're recording or doing any sort of content creation, it's gonna be glitchy. So you can do this in game, but if you're not a streamer, obviously you can just switch between the new resolution when you need to. Hey guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this in any single way, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And as always, the streams five days a week on Twitch. The link for that will be featured down below. And we'll see you in the next one.